Welcome to SJC Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Kadalur. In this video, I am going to teach ionic polarization takes place in dielectric. Ionic polarization is due to the displacement of a cation that is positive ion and ion ion negative ion in opposite direction on the application of external electric field in ionic crystal example sodium chloride this results in the creation of dipole moment we know that the dipole moment is proportional to applied electric field and removing the proportionality we are putting a constant that is called ionic polarizability take it as equation number one this is the figure showing the uh, ionic polarization takes place in ionic crystal. Without field, the ions are in the respective position. On the application of the field, the positive ion moves some distance that is taken as x1 and negative ion moves in uh, some distance x2 in opposite to the field direction. Hence, the net displacement between the two ions is taken as capital X, which is equal to summation of X1 and X2. The induced dipole moment due to the displacement of ion is given by charge into displacement. Here, the charge of ion is taken as small e and displacement total displacement is capital X. Consider this is the equation number 2. When the ions are displaced from their respective position, what will happen? A restoring force appear on the ions which tend to uh, ions back into their mean position. The restoring force produced is proportional to the displacement. For positive ion, the restoring force is taken as F1 which is proportional to the displacement X1. The proportionality is removed by the constant beta 1. Name it as equation number 3. For negative ion, similarly, the restoring force is taken as F2, which is proportional to X2. So, the proportionality is removed by the constant beta 2 times X2. Name it as equation number 4. Here, the beta 1 and beta 2 are the restoring force constant, which depend upon the masses of ion and angular frequency of the molecule. If small m is the mass of positive ion and capital M is the mass of negative ion and omega naught is the angular frequency, then the restoring force constant beta 1 and beta 2 is equal to small m omega naught square for a positive ion, capital M omega naught square for negative ions. Substituting the value of beta 1 in equation 3, we get F equal to small m omega naught square x1. Name it as equation number 5. We know that the force equal to uh, charge into applied field. And comparing these two equations, both are the force. And comparing 5 and 6, we are getting the distance of separation between the positive ion which is equal to small e into capital E divided by small m omega naught square. Name it as equation number 7. Similarly for the negative ion on replacing the small m by capital M we are getting the uh, displacement of the negative ion. Name it as equation number 8. Adding 7 and 8 we are get the total displacement of the ion that is x1 and x2 we are getting small e and into capital E divided by omega naught square into 1 divided by small m plus 1 divided by capital M substitute the value of e x in equation 2 we are getting mu equal to e square e divided by omega naught square into 1 by small m plus 1 by capital M on comparing equation 1 and 9 we get alpha i equal to e square by omega naught square 1 by m plus 1 by capital M. This is the ionic polarizability. 
Ionic polarizability is inversely proportional to the square of the angular frequency of the ionic molecules and directly proportional to its reduced mass that is 1 divided by small m plus 1 divided by capital M. It is independent of temperature. Thank you.